you know, I've started lifting weights again with light weights trying to lose weight. <clears throat> and so maybe once a week I have time to go down to a local YMCA and I'll watch cops come in wearing their local cop shirts and I'll watch them kind of strut around and bug their eyes out at people. They're not too bad, but I've seen groups of them in there. And it's a totally different group of people when the fire department is always there. No matter when I go, somebody from the Hayes County Fire Department is always in there. I was watching these guys do like 60 pull-ups and then go back and do it again and doing these things where they're doing pull-ups and swinging their body all the way over, basically in a gymnast move. that are so nice and friendly because they're fire department people who actually have a real job and who actually serve the community. And I'll never forget watching the Austin police with their cadets in a swim test, and about a third of them could barely swim. Three of them had to be pulled out. I even shot video of this and life jackets put on because they couldn't swim. And the head police that were teaching them weren't that good of swimmers. I mean, you ought to be able to swim two miles to be a cop. You ought to be able to do 40 pull-ups to be a cop. And I'm not sitting there claiming I'm Mr. Tough Guy. I used to do 45 pull-ups. I can barely do three of them now. But the point is, as I watch these fire department guys, they are the polar opposite of the police now. I'm not saying all police are like this, but nice guys, friendly, not putting off a power trip, and just savagely lifting weights and just, you know, in incredible shape. You can tell they're drug-free, too. You can just look at their muscles. Just savagely strong because they need to be able to pick people up and stuff. They need to be able to, you know, climb out of a window. And, and it, it, you just see the difference in the culture. And now they're trying to corrupt the fire departments and make them secret police. It's so disgusting to see that happen. And I've talked to a lot of retired people, read a lot of criminology. 30, 40 years ago, all they cared about being a cop was that you were somewhat honest and really tough. Nowadays, it's about hiring little social worker bureaucrats who are on power trips and want to dominate you. Because a really tough guy is not going to want to dominate people that haven't done anything. A, a, a warrior is going to want to go after bad guys and defend innocent people, not, oh, I think you might have marijuana. I'm going to stick my hand in your rectum and then your vagina. I mean, that's totally illegal. But their supervisors have told them they're allowed to. It's a disgusting power trip by people that can't even swim.